Howdy, my listeners. It is your electrifying host here. It is Team Right Right. Listeners, how are you doing on this Thursday's edition? I am doing very well for myself. Let's cut to the chase and now we'll discuss some awesome wrestling news. So sit back, relax, be your feet up, grab something to eat, grab something to drink. Now, if you don't want to do that, maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts and opinions in a certain manner. And of course, the article will be down below for the topic. Let's get this underway. Now, I want to discuss about Ron Rousey. Now, she has been with the WWE almost a year. Okay, she made a shocking appearance when the Royal Rumble was over, and very, very, everyone very surprised to see her in a square circle. And she had a very first match this past Mania. Technically, it was last year. It was a mixed tag team match, and she'd been dominating. She had a belt since last August. Um, now, it seems like her contract is going to expire very, very soon, okay? Probably a lot of you are going to say, thank God she'll be gone. Okay, Ron Rousey surprised a lot of people when she showed up during the conclusion of the 2018 Royal Rumble. She pointed at the WrestleMania sign on the ceiling probably messed it up, sorry, and started her career as a WWE Superstar. Now, she re- she is reporting, wrapping up her time with WWE already. Wow, time goes so fast. The Wrestling Observer Newsletter reports that there is a very good chance that Ron Rossi will be finishing up with WWE at, at WrestleMania. So, most likely she's going to drop the belt, whoever her opponent will be. It could be, um, I don't know, it could be anyone that he wants to put her, to face her as a, as a challenger, you know? Who's going to be the next challenger to face Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania? It could be like a, maybe like a one-on-one match, a triple threat match, fade out four-way. Who's going to face Ron Rousey. Most likely she will drop that belt. Okay? If she did not resign if she's not gonna resign with the company. That's what I'm gonna say. Now, I know some of you are not really a fan of Ron Rousey because number one, her mic skill sucks, but she's very good in the square circle, okay? She dominate everyone on the raw brand. She could even do the same thing on the Smith and Live brand, you know? Um for me, I don't care, Don, who she dropped the belt to. I don't care. At least she's there the whole entire year. Not like freaking Lesnar, you know? Now, Lesnar, I know he's a special attraction, but don't give him the freaking belt, W. That is so stupid of this company. Okay? That is the only beef I have with Brock Lesnar. And I know you guys will agree with me. Give someone who's there 365 days a year, okay? I know a lot of you are not a fan of Finn Balor, I agree. Everyone out there on social media has their own opinion about Finn Balor, okay? Now I have no issues with Finn Balor at all. I'm not gonna complain. It's not gonna do any me any good on social media. Everyone's gonna bash my comments anyway. Um, so she does leave after WrestleMania. She's done. But if she wins, maybe she d- did resign another year with the company. We'll find out when it comes down to crunch time. So, she will fight everyone in her freaking path. Everyone. On Raw. And, um, she has a, I think she has a face-to-face with uh, Becky Lynch. And it was good, you know? Um, so I don't know if she's going to go back to UFC. Or maybe she can take some time off and c- come back to W With the le- you know, with a part-time contract, we'll find out in the near future. 
Th that's just my thoughts. <clears throat> I guarantee the women of Raw Smack and Life was very, very bitter when Ron Rousey came onto the scene. Oh well, whatever. Hey, at least she's a real fighter. Not like these women of Raw SmackDown, they just there to entertain the rest of the fanatics, and that is legit, you know? I'm not a fan on Ronda Rousey, I'm just seeing how it is, okay? And probably women of Raw SmackDown said, you know what? I could do this kind of thing, you know? I know we got Charlotte Flair, is always on her game. Becky Lynch, she's on her game right now, until WWE drops the ball with her and that really sums it up they don't have a really legit um Royal Rumble I'm not Royal Rumble they don't have a legit roster I know Ron Rousey is gonna defend her belt against um Sasha Banks on Sunday she might lose it or she might uh retain it on Sunday it should be a very good match so that wraps it up. Let me know your honest opinion about this matter. Do you guys care? Don't care? Here's the article. And everyone have a good one. This is your lovely host here. Team Alright. Later.